Hello and welcome to News Click. I'm Anushka and we are bringing you a glimpse of some of the most important stories we report about at News Click. Our first story is coming from Gujarat where hundreds of farmers protested against the ninth edition of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit in Gandhinagar. These farmers are affected by land acquisition being carried out for several industrial and road projects. Some of these key projects include Reliance SEZ Dolera Special Investment Region and mining of limestone for Ultratech cement. Speaking at the concluding ceremony, Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rupani stated that 28,360 memorandums of understanding were signed during the summit and that it was expected to generate 21 lakh jobs. Rupani, however, did not mention the specifics of the investments that would come through the MOU signed during the VGG 2019. And this detail is extremely crucial as a few projects for which MOUs were signed in the 2009 Gujarat summit, that's 10 years ago, failed to take off on the ground even in 2019. For example, the industrial city in Dholera. Can EVMs be hacked? This is a question that's been going around since 2014. Many leaders and civil society members have asked this question numerous times in the past. Yesterday, in a press conference that took place in London, it was alleged that the EVMs could definitely be hacked or tampered. Syed Shuja, who claims to be a US-based cyber expert and claims to have had work on designing the EVMs, said that he had evidence that the machines were rigged in 2014 general elections, in which Narendra Modi had gained a massive victory. However, Shuja failed to convince a large section of the viewers of this live stream video conference as he did not demonstrate the hacking at the press conference. It's day 32 of the US government shutdown. Apparently, the great Donald Trump has shut down the government as the other congressmen have refused to fund his famous Mexico wall. Thousands of government workers are not getting paid. Some have claimed that the US economy is currently seeing the worst form of governance ever since the civil rights war. People are taking this opportunity to mark their protests against Trump in various ways. Even Hollywood stars like Cardi B took to Instagram to talk about it. Trump is now ordering, as in summoning, federal government workers to go back to work without getting paid. Now, I don't want to hear you about, oh, but Obama shut down the government for 17 days. Yeah, for health care. So it's not only Cardi B, but a science journal marked Trump's face on human feces. That's right, on human feces to mark their protest against Trump's anti-science policies. The supporters took to Twitter and appreciated the Science Journal for the humor in the joke. If this is an interesting juncture for the American politics, then Europe wouldn't be quite far behind either. In Hungary, nearly 11,500 workers at Audi's plant went on a working strike demanding higher wages, among a number of other demands. The union had demanded that the German firm raise the base pay by 18% to a minimum of 75,000 Hungarian forints, that's 220 euros. They also want 4% of the variable pay to be built into the base pay. A study carried out on behalf of the trade unions revealed that workers at Audi Hungary are the least paid among the firm's employees in the region. That's another episode of the Daily Roundup. For more detailed reports, you can always log on to our website, newsclick.in. And for more videos, interviews, and other news features, do log on to our Facebook page and follow us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.